Hey guys, what's up? This is Adam from FXD79.com and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick tutorial on uh, how to make a theme for Cydia. Now, uh, my friend on YouTube, OSX Meets Nick, has a tutorial on this. He actually used iDesigner, which is a, a great basic um, theme creator for uh, Cydia applications for your iPod Touch or uh, iPhone or iPad now. Um, but I'm going to basically show you how to get into some more advanced uh, theme making and uh, things like that. So how I'm going to do, be doing that is going over uh, how I made my Modern Wood theme, which is available on Cydia. It's been there for a while now. Um, it has about 5,000 something downloads currently, which is the 17th. Um, so it might have more by the time you look at it or download it if you can. But uh, basically this is going to be less of a tutorial, more of an overview, and uh, hopefully you can get some ideas on how to make your own theme. And uh, you can also, below this video in the sub bar, there is links to, uh, first, if you if you are a basic uh, user, you're going to want to watch OSX Music Tutorial. It gives you a ton of great tips on how to create a basic theme, um, but it doesn't give you the kind of control that you want over a theme if you're a more advanced user. So if you're more advanced, just stay on this, that's great. If you're more basic, make sure you do that, because, you know, it's not going to be a good tutorial for you. So, uh, what I was saying is in the sub bar, along with the links, there's also a link to the download of this file. Um, it just has blank, blank, uh, pictures. There's, I took out all the icons and everything, um, just so that you can get a base, basic, uh, uh, kind of template to build your theme on. But let's go ahead and open this folder up. Usually it's zipped or in a, a RAR format, dot .rar format, when I send it to them to upload to Cydia. But... I unzipped it just for you guys to take a look at it. Basically, we have a few. Let me change this so you can kind of see it. And um, we have a few folders here. These folders right here were not developed by me. They were uh, another designer on Cydia, and uh, we collaborated to make this uh, to include these as optional downloads with Modern Wood. But these four right here, oops, these four right here um, are all mine. They're different variations on color. And then this one is a lock screen. These are all lock screens, by the way. Um, so let's just go ahead and open the blue, because that was the uh, first one that I made. We have uh, just wallpaper. So um, you just make a make a photo called wallpaper. I'm not sure what the exact dimensions are. I'll have them in the sub bar. There we go. 320 by 480 um, as a wallpaper. And then a, uh, a 320 by 20 status bar. Um, and you have to keep the names the same. Make sure you pay attention to capitalization and everything like that. Um, this is just a preference file. I'll leave this in here just because it, you know, just makes everything work well. And we'll take that out because that's a pain to do. But then we just have an icons folder, and it just has all the icons for my theme. And um, you just uh, need to name them the name of the applications. For instance, Facebook, um, and then it will update to fit that, and these are just tests, um, I'll show you those later, actually. And then we have a folders file, and that has all these springboard uh, preferences. This has all the um, language files in it, so um, right now I have uh, English, uh, Spanish, French, and Italian, but um, I'll just show you the English, because most of you guys are English. They are uh, .strings files, um, so stringboard springboard.strings I'm not sure if I can yeah all right so I'll show you I'll open this up with you uh, edit them with a text editor usually just um, where is it good lord okay um, so you can rename them you can just usually open them with a with uh, like a notepad or something but I just change it to a text file real quick so that you guys can take a look into it this just changes lock screen text and everything like that so you have like alarm lock label and I'll include this in the sub bar by the way um, like go away alarm you can change the stuff besides you know turn off alarm just that kind of boring stuff we have the name of the application for the little um, touch swipe thing t uh, t uh, swipe to unlock um, then you have you know just pick up kind of customized things power down is in session and you can kind of just change it to fit yourself which is kind of cool. So, that's cool. And I'll fix that later. But, 
and then you can just basically translate them and put them in other ones and then all the ones that don't have translations are just the regular uh, factory set um, text for there for just just for that um, without any modifications or anything like that so that's the springboard and then the last folder is bundles and this has just uh, the um, doc in it, SB doc, and that controls the doc. It's a pretty simple folder. But that's the Modern Wood theme itself, and obviously you can see there are a few variations here, which just have the status bar changed color, because a few people requested different status bar colors. So they're all available, uh, you can just pick one and activate it. And then these are all lock screens, and the, if you put all of these in one folder, and upload that to your host. Um, mine is iPhone Repo Center. They're great. They get your stuff updated within 24 hours. They're awesome. So make sure you, if you're hosting a theme, check them out. Um, I have some blog postings up there, and they're just awesome. So um, if you put them all in one folder and just upload that zip folder, these will all show up in Winterboard. These are our Winterboard themes. I'm presuming everybody knows that. But I'm just going to show you the unlock because these are all the same. And we have the string springboard file again, and you just see uh, we got some different customization in text in the folders, and this is just the framework files um, for tap to unlock and stuff like that. And the um, the springboard files in case these screw up for some reason, because you'll see uh, these cover up and they're just tap to unlock. And um, so yeah, that kind of just uh, this is just kind of a backup type thing. But these are all just um, things I won't go into because they're not mine. And uh, if the designer chooses to make a theme tutorial, then he can do that. But these are just all things you can get. Really cool lock screens, by the way. These are excellently designed. I'm using one on my iPod right now, which I would show you if I had a video, but I don't. So, anyways, uh, that's pretty much that. Um, again, I'll have the template and everything and you guys can check it out. Uh, download Modern Wood if you can from uh, City or Rock or Icy. Um, if anybody any anybody uses that anymore, which I don't think they do. But uh, yeah, so again, if you're a design uh, beginner, then make sure you check out Nick's tutorial and just check it out and leave some uh, good comments and rate it. Um, also, give this video a thumbs up, thumb down, whatever you think it deserves, and um, I will be happy. I'm happy when you give it a thumbs up, not so happy when you give it a thumbs down, obviously. But, oh, also, um, on our website, if you go to effectsd79.com, um, you can go to the uh, Cydia tab, or maybe it's the design tab, I'm not really sure, but um, you can see that we have uh, all of all of the uh, themes up there, and they're, all of my themes, and their um, uh, info, and pictures, and snapshots, and stuff like that. Um, and then you can also, there's a link to a page where you can fill out a form and we'll build a theme for you and submit it to Cydia so you, you can get it and your friends can get it and blah, blah, blah. And that's all free. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check it out. Also, design.effectsd79.com is our design page where we have all info on this kind of stuff. All right, so that's it. I'll see you guys later.